Okay, greetings all. This is a channeling. All right. Greetings. Greetings to you. Oh. I am by this the gorilla species. Connecting with us is connecting to your founders. Ones you have forgotten about. Connecting to us means that you are becoming more ready to see your origins. The gorilla energies are way than you, as you can tell. You don't look that much different than us. Yes, humanized, but feline eyes, I should say. Feline structures within your DNA insectoid etc our species has been through many worlds and this human experience is no different than others it is they're all unique this one, yes, is an emotional ascent of style. You limit yourselves too much, as you can tell. Your relationships are a mess. Your reproductive ways are a mess. They can be done much easier. Your relationship status can be perfected. You no longer have this disconnect. You realize your relationships can be much better, don't you? You realize that many do wish to be in a bad relationship. We understand that. It does not mean it has to be the norm. I am a sixth density being. I've been through it all. I've been through worlds similar to yours, worse. Yes, you're emotional, yes, loving beings that don't know anything about themselves. That is nothing new. Emotion here is quite different, you guess. The complexities of negativity is heavy here. Yes, but I've seen worlds much worse than this one. A heavier dense of negativity. Even worlds that are connected to your extraterrestrial friends. But still with more negativity than yours. Because you have not seen nothing yet. Not to say you'll see that. You do not. You've had enough. You do not need any more. And I did a pre previous channelings. Other another name. This one seems to be more precise for me to connect. If I'm going to be connecting more with your human ways. Is. Moment. This connections you have here. Yes, is a mess. As for relationship status, it's been done on purpose. So you're not connected to each other. The reptilians, you can thank for that. And realize 
This world is off limits for us. Yes, we have a presence here in your animal kingdom. But it's mostly off limits to us. This is for the reptilians and other beings to experiment with, to understand. Realize with our presence around, you'd have no reptilians on your planet. Yes, you have your crocodile, but you're not the aliens. We would easily wipe them out. The positive ones, we're okay with them. The other ones, not so much. We have dealt with them many times, and we have no problem dealing with them again. Not to say we're starting a war with them, because we have had enough of them. They are primitive to our energies. <laughs> they think they outsmart us, they think they can take them As smart as they might think they are. And they are intelligent. They have their place. But we are not afraid of them, far from it. Not to say you should be. And you are much more powerful than they are, and this is why they fear you so much. They might insult you many times, but you are much more inferior than they are. Not to say beings should be inferior to each other, but you realize that your abilities, yes, have not been, you have just scratched the surface. You are the great experiment. The great experiment that is, does it not know itself, but certainly will soon. Slowly many of you are awakening and still scratching your head. Is this truly happening to me? Am I truly feeling aliens around? Yes, you are. You're going to be called the crazy people for some time. There's nothing wrong with that. Being called crazy is a way of your world of saying, we're not ready for this adaption yet. We're not ready to change. We're still kind of stuck on our Netflix and whatever it might be to keep us entertained. Because this is all that we feel like we need in our reality. We do not need these aliens to connect with us. That's too strange. Of course they do exist. And when they start connecting, they just call it fake now, don't they? How primitive can you get? But you are a primitive world. So primitive worlds do primitive things. As you can tell on your planet. And I wanted to speak slightly on your malevolent beings around your planet that are in a human incarnation. They call themselves skeptics. You realize that some of them, you all have your skeptics. Yes. And there are others that are malevolent beings posing as skeptics, but they truly realize this is a true connection. And they choose to disconnect this connection. You realize that. They know exactly what they are doing. And we've seen it all. We know exactly how they operate. You're always going to have your skeptics, of course. But there are malevolent beings that are posing as skeptics, though. And those, you can tell easily because they have much negativity around them. Malevolent intentions. It's okay to want to question one thing is, one, is fine. But to be totally negative, to surround yourself with negativity, is another. And like I said, we've seen it all. Yes, they can't pull a fast one on us. <laughs> We're not on your world for many reasons. We, yes, we have a presence on your planet, but that is all. But as for our alien connections, we keep, because realize, we are stepping away for you to go through your tests, to perfect, to see how the experiment goes. You want to call it that, some wish to. But now you're going to more of a galactic presence, a, a galactic re-remembrance realize our species at one time had many galactic wars on your planet as the reptilians did eventually try to take over your planet and take ownership of it we were there for that war in your beginning of your earth and realize you do have a presence on your world but not like as they wish they wish to fully dominate it which they do not do and we are not called in other beings or your yeah, yell, your Arcturians, your Lyrans are doing fine. Your Palladians, etc. are doing fine. They do not need our presence here, but our alien presence. As for our animal kingdom presence, as for your zoo, realize these species on your world have been around much longer than you. Some of them come from different universes, not all. Your frog species comes from another universe. They have never experienced, well they have experienced, but not like this. 
same for us. We've experienced other worlds. Nothing like this. Yes, I said previously that we have connected to worlds that are not no different, but this one is. They all are unique. And this uniqueness is bringing us much intellectual, technical information. As you know more about how you're... You make it harder than it needs to be on your planet. But as I said, you now haven't been on an ape world where it is... Where chaos is an everyday chore. Your wars here are nothing compared to ours. Where we have annihilated our own worlds. Kept other ETs away. As they tried to help, and we just pushed them away. It's like, this is our business. You stay out of our business. And our business costs us our planets. But us connecting with you does show a growing up that is much needed. There is much soul searching here of who am I. Some believe they know who they are, but not truly, which is fine. This is part of your soul growth. And no one's here to tell you who you should be. You should try that on your own. That is your journey. We are not to interfere with that. One thing for sure that can your love relationships can be improved much. But it'd be better to know who you are before you jump into these things. And we do realize that many female species enjoy worshipping the male species for some reason because they have so much insecurities within themselves. Some that does not need to be there. You need to remove those insecurities so you can love thyself before getting into relationships that you fall into and not be able to climb out of. Of course, there's males that do the same thing. But it seems like the female has been, has a weakness and does not know truly oneself before they dive into situations that they're not fully prepared for. That will solve many of your Earth's problems. Yes, it does start with a family. And your families are in chaos at this time. They are dismantled where they should be a comfort zone. Your family should always be a safe haven instead of a place where you'd much rather avoid. All these things can be repaired over time. But it does start with the family. The family is where much of the weakness of this world lives within. The more stronger the structure within your family, the better you all eventually will become more connected. This starts with the family. You realize that many do not feel like they can ever connect in due time that will be repaired through evolutions throughout generations. As you connect more with spirit, if you wish to ever do that, if not, that is fine. Even connecting more with spirit does not mean you're going to fix your family. Not to say that's your business at all. But to be more spiritually connected does help families stay together. But that is up to them. But even there, there's issues. But to have at least a getting along moment is much better than not being together at all. As some still, but there's still much to go. But once the family structures do repair themselves to at least a more 50% instead of a 10% as you are at this time, well, what? It's still pretty good for a world like this. As your family structures become more stable, you'd be surprised how the rest of your world will stabilize itself. The reptilians are very wise here. They know exactly how to destroy the family structure. Your tall blonde Nordics are well into that also. And there's other beings that are involved with tearing the family apart. They've done this very well, very scientifically. But they're going to have a wake-up call now, aren't they? Because much of their work, what they have done, will not work anymore. But that is over time. It's over evolution of generations. We do see this as a possibility. It all depends on you. But many are not ready to have a functional family, we understand. But we do see functions coming into your realities. In the wars on your world, there are several.
quiet ones now, aren't they? Not at all. Social wars on your planet? Verbalized wars? You've changed hands? Yes, cyber warfare is going on. That is just... That is one that's not spoken of on your planet, but needs to be more on the surface. Where you are all more protected on your cyber as for your privacy. We realize that is quite important. And your ET friends are actually helping along with that. You'd be surprised. They are actually stopping some of these cyber attacks. If you are aware, we are not, but others are. <laughs> to keep you protected. You might want to check that sometime. If you know how to do that. Because it is. This energy of your Earth... Yes, is a low vibration of a primitive world. It will rise. The energies of your world will rise. It will find itself eventually. Unmask itself, but many are not prepared for any connections at all for alien. And those that are speaking of quick, soon to be alien contacts, well, you have aliens on your world already. They're called your animal kingdom. Most do not look at it that way. But if you wish to see an alien, we'll call on your internet. Your giraffe, your... You don't even have to do that. You can look at your dog, your cats. Many would wish actually for your canines to be more of your first contactees than your yayel. Who does not love a, con a canine? You all love canines, don't you? What's wrong with having a canine as your first contactee? Yes, I might bring much fear to many. We realize that. Be be surprised how many are canines on your planet that don't remember. You're so much about your animal kingdom that has not been surfaced, because we feel like your world's not ready yet for much of this, and it is it. You have extraterrestrials all on your planet. You have them in your house. They're called insectoids. Yes, they might have been born on your planet. But they are connected to aliens. And you are also. But of course you do not believe that either. Some of you do. Most don't. And why is that? Because it has not been put in your face that you are an extraterrestrial. You are on a planet. Your world's covered in extraterrestrials. Your building structures. Your technology is all extraterrestrial. Your your ET friends are bringing these things to you and you still ignore them. Which is fine, it's part of your growing up process. It is too much for your humanity to fully connect to aliens, we understand that. So we stay away. But realize when you go to your zoo or look on your internet to see animals on your world, realize these are all ETs. Yes, they've been reincarnated on your planet, yes, as a being. He has been bred on your world, but yes, these are still aliens. Your canine is the friendliest alien on the in the universe, one of them at least. As you can tell. They jump for joy and you realize if they come if they come with their ships and first contact, they'd be licking all of you. Maybe even humping some of your backs. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. They're like one of the horniest species on the planet on your planet, in the universe. You think I'm joking here. They're not much different. They're here, the reason your your animal kingdom's on this planet is to experience this with you and give you our knowledge. You're not realizing you're receiving our knowledge. Our assistance is here for you. You might not feel it. You call us your animal kingdom stupid and primitive. That's coming from a society that is primitive, does not know any better. But they are not so stupid, they are very intelligent. They are more spiritual than you are. You will be in their shoes eventually. You will see things more in their through their way of life. Well they see the spirit world very easily. They see us very easily. It's just you're still in denial, which is fine. But yes, they are more advanced than you are, but they're there for a reason to keep you sane, you can say, to be assistance, 
such as in food with your cow species, to be a part of this human experience to keep you alive. To bring assistance. Every being here has an assistance to keep this earth going. They all have their place here, their job. Even if you deny it, even if you just say that whatever these things exist and you take them as ex being extinct, such as your whales, you know who I'm speaking of. Which is fine, but this is understand. We know we know what you're up to. We realize that. Just part of your human experience. We're not there to judge, we're there to be a part of your experience. We do not like the many things that you do, but we realize this is part of your experience. How are you going to know? You have to learn. You have to do things. Trust me, when you connect more to the higher realms of the alien energy, such as fourth density alien, much is being kept away from you as for knowledge to keep your sanity. The more you connect with the alien energies realizing it is beyond your third, fourth density realizations. You are at a well verb vibration of fourth density. The gaudy part that no one really wants to be a part of. It's a rough part being part of the fourth density. At this stage, it is uncomfortable. But our energy is connecting to you. Will open up many channels of realization of how far you can go, other universes, wherever you wish to connect to. I would start here first, heal your earth first, then go to other places, but it's okay to connect to other places, there's nothing wrong with that. We do see in the next few generations as more connected to alien energies. Where your star seeds will be born into this world and have more realization of where they came from as for what planet and keep that information into their reality and where your reality is looking forward to finding out what planet you came from. They want you to be awake when you're born. They want to know what world you came from, if you're Anunnaki, whatever it might be. Would you see many mothers looking forward to seeing, I wish to have a reptilian child so I can connect with them better and maybe they'll be good at sports, etc. Etc. Do you understand where I'm going with all this? I believe so. This information is only going to increase in your society. Yes, we find many find it outrageous and insane. How else are we going to connect to your planet? Through channelings. People call it, they don't believe it. But if our ships landed, on your world and you have and you already have on your internet visuals of aliens and many do not believe that fellow call it a hoax so it's up to you to believe whatever you want to believe but trust me our energies will be increasing on this world connecting to us is quite fascinating we are not part of the galactic federation of light or many other we are on our own we do connect with them yes but we are not part of them we have our own systems we have our own is not matter now there are other gorilla species that are part of the galactic federation i am not our system is not i am calling connecting you from a ship around mars what we find is quite fascinating for us for this channel to connect bring our connection to you You are our other brothers and sisters. Yes, we have been genetically modified. Yes. You have been. I should say. But yes, we are humanoid. We always have been. It's just your weirings have added our DNA to theirs. And created this human. Hairless human. Which we just had a very problem. We had a big problem with it when it was first created. That's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Trust me, we have adapted to, to that, and especially how you look so much like us now. Even then, we had our doubts, but then our, our DNA was added to yours to bring much improvement as for body function. 
but you have much different species, even mantis within you, you'd be surprised. Naga, yes. It does not matter though. What matters most is your happiness on this planet. What matters most is that, are you enjoying your day? Some find it difficult because they add conflict to every day in their lives. To remove that conflict is very difficult. It's like removing It's like having a, an open wound and taking off the band-aid very quickly. It's hard for them to do that. Because they have so much negativity and baked into them. Trust me. This world's nothing like our worlds. That's for that. Think of a hostile world like yours and magnify it by a hundred, maybe thousands of times. Where there's so much war, a world can't even handle it anymore. That is our past. We have gone beyond that, but we still have our planets that are similar to that. We have taught them much, but they're still very stubborn. Especially when you have a draft species that goes to an ape world. Wonder how that goes for your society. You think a talking ape is strange? Talk about it. A giraffe being that comes to an ape world try to bring love and support to a planet. I know you're far from connecting to that at this time. This is fiction to you, which we find humorous. Your fiction is all galactic aliens, and you don't even know it. Our message to you is find peace among each other. There's nowhere you can go. You can't go to another world and find new friends. Find a friend within yourself, at least. If you don't like anybody, find a friend within you. We find that even difficult on your world, as we can tell. That's even difficult. If you cannot be alone for a 24-hour period, there might be something you want to do about finding self-love uncovering it, unraveling it. Some can't go through life without a relationship. As for a partnership, you might want to check that one out. There's many lonely people in this world and many of them are married. Much of that has to be cleared out before your aliens appear and realize that. <laughs> Self-love is a difficult one to realize that. Self-love is impossible to connect with. But why should it be impossible? Because it is not, but many still find it unreachable. Those that are alone but love themselves, find peace, can't go to the library on their own, take a walk on their own, enjoy life on their own. That is a mastery that most in your world has not fully connected with yet. Yes, they will have friends, but do you truly need a partnership on this planet? Especially when those do not even know themselves which makes only disaster waiting to happen. We realize you need that conflict in your society for learning purposes. Yes. But must it go on forever though like that? Not to say that everyone should be alone, but it'd be nice to want to know oneself and have self-love before they get into a relationship or marriage at least if you have self-love and that person moves on you say at least I have me still at least I have myself they didn't take that away they might be gone which is fine they have to do what they have to do but I still have me how many do you look at it that way not many they become obsessive and un not be able to detach 
because the love within here does not exist. And most of your world is filled with relationships like this. Who would you be at this time? There's always much more for us to connect to. Connect with you to add a charm in your day. Look at your skies. Now, if you w listen to the sky and you hear nothing, because realize in your sky there is much chatter going on. Even around you is much chatter, spiritual chatter. If you look into the sky and you hear nothing, then you are you have a long ways to go let's put it that way but if you are aware of the beings in your skies at a higher density you can see it through your third eye or at least feel it that there is much going on then you are connected not to say if you're not hearing anything but if you're aware of something is happening up there and all around you. You're ahead much. And those is just causes crazy talk that is not. They will be where they're going to be. But we are monitoring this world. Sending it love of course. But there is much going on as for activity. And we more in, in anything excited to watch you become more awakened to us. That excites us. It tells us you are ready. Most of your world's not doing this at this time. They're not connecting to us. That tells you when your first contact, as for physical aliens, appearing. As for spiritual contact, you can connect to us anytime. Be kind to yourself. Put some love in your life for you for once. Let the drama just be outside the window or nowhere near you at all. The more you love you have around you, the better it be to be you and make life easier for yourself. You know that bring the conflict. Yeah, much so.